Hey, what's good? I'm Tristan. You're watching Precision Rifle Reviews, and today we're taking a look at a nifty little product from Long Range Arms. What it is, as you can see, the lights flicking away there, is an item called Send It. Long story short, it's a uh, digital spirit level or an anti cant gauge. And what's the advantage of having an anti cant gauge in your firing system? Companies like Spur Rings, the manufacturer of arguably the nicest rings that you can buy today, MPA Chassis and many other companies actually in, uh, manufacture spirit levels into their products because they all know the importance of not having any left and right cant on your shooting system when you're shooting, if you intend on hitting the target. If this spotting scope was a rifle scope and my arm was the action and barrel and we're sitting there in front like that, basically, whoop, let's go the other arm. Where my thumb is, we've got a target, so that's gonna be an impact, and I put some cant on. As you can see, I've just rolled off the target, and if we go the other way, so we've got an impact there, and we just roll off the other way, it's exacerbated, and not a best example. Again, you get this, the, uh, the principle. Having accomplished quite a few long-range shooting courses and classes myself, First thing that they uh, that they drill into you is that you don't want any cant in your shooting system. So we've established that we've got to get it out. Why would you want to spend the extra money on a long range arms uh, digital cant gauge over the one that I've actually got set up on this rifle uh, for a demonstration? Well, for me, I would spend the extra money hands down every single time. Hence, I own one for every single one of my rifles. Um, because of the peripheral vision. When I'm on this gun, I shoot PRS. Um, I can see that light. There's actually a black one on this rifle at the moment. I can see that light in my peripheral vision. If I put this one down for two seconds, <clears throat> and we'll just spin this rifle around. Well, at the moment, we've got a little bit of cant on there. See then I'll roll it back now to turn it off. Green means we're perfectly level. And then we've got red out the other side. But looking down the rifle there, or even more so if you actually get square on the rifle, as you can see up here, that uh, traditional level, you can't even see it. Your peripheral vision won't allow you to see it. You are gonna have to get off the rifle ever so slightly to, uh, to be able to see it. And you don't want to do that. So let's just get that out of the way for two seconds. Bring this one here back in. So, they mount via a Picatinny rail. They have a wing nut, uh, which I really, really like because I shoot PRS if I'm in a bind and I need access, like poking the whole rifle through a tiny little hole, I can just hit that and just fall off and it'll, away it'll go. In the kit, they do actually come with a second clamp that you can use a grub screw if you like the neater look, but I actually prefer the, the wing nut, makes it quite a lot easier. As a feature, they do have in the top a built-in bubble level as a backup. One of the other reasons that you might want to purchase the uh, Send It bubble level is they're actually, they're more accurate. They're built off a 12-plane axis and they are tunable. They come with a 0.6 degree um, of accuracy. So basically each level, each you know unit is moving over 0.6 of a degree and that's tunable in 0.2 increments. So you, the most sensitive you can have it is 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, factory, 0.8, and then one degree of accuracy uh, of, you know, yeah, of, not of accurate, well, of, yeah, of, of one degree of, of rotation. Um, so very, very accurate. A traditional bubble level, like in the back of the rings, and in the top here at high altitude does have the um, tendency to compress as well. So that reading can be a little bit false and there's gotta be an element of, um, of friction and that sort of thing inside the, uh, the bubble levels. They have been the, uh, the talk of debate. So uh, that being said, they, some companies like this one here, they've actually gone to ceramic balls and ceramic beads and that sort of thing inside their, inside their, uh, their units. So, the, the digital level is, is better. You've got a lot of um, brightness setting. So when it turns on is just this one here. So that's off. I'll turn it on and you'll see three lights flash, which is a self-diagnostic check. And then you'll see a bank of lights show up. If it's two lights, 20% battery, three lights, 60% battery. Anything above that is I think 80 and 100% battery. 
diagnostics. Like 80% battery, so it's really great. Um, now I've been using this one on that rifle all year and I haven't changed the battery. So being an LED light, this thing will last for a long, long time. I've been shooting all year with this same unit. Um, sitting at the lower setting there, I know on the screen it actually does look quite bright, but that is very, very dim if you were the type of person or job that needed to be a little bit sneaky with your rifle. Um, you can have it very, very dull. And then very, very bright. I've used this, uh, this system in, um, in the uh, blaring sun and it has had absolutely no problems at all. And then just to turn it back off, just turn off. So like I mentioned, you can uh, change the uh, sensitivity. The other thing that you can do that if you found like on this one here, you can see it's hanging off that you didn't like it hanging off like that. You can run this whole unit instead of left to right. You can hang it upside down, you know, up and down, still giving you the uh, the cant um, feature. So let's just have a look at that on this rifle with the uh, the cant gauge. So as you can see there, red means that it's um, pivoting one side. So the rifle's leaning to its right now. So I've got blue as I come across. One light will turn off, which means I'm only just on. And then green, I'm perfectly aligned. Red, one light. And red, plenty of light. When I'm shooting comp, I'll actually, I'm pretty good to shoot a shot. Really anything from one light on, if it's inside um, 600 meters, I know I'm gonna be pretty good. Um, so the digital uh, cant gauge from long range arms definitely has helped me plenty. Um, like I say, peripheral vision is the biggest thing that, in my opinion, which is it's sold around. Now, if you wanna get one, they are a bit tricky to get in Australia because they're made, manufactured over in the United States. And I think only one place sells them here in Australia and that's BRT Shooter Supplies. The best thing about BRT Shooter Supply guys is that it's an online store. Instead of driving your ass down there <laughs> to find out that they're not in stock um, and then driving home, um, empty handed, jump online, you can click on the basket, add it to the basket and they'll just send it right out. It's really quick, so um, it's a good thing. BIT Shooter Supply, you can find their information hyperlinked right below. Tell them Tristan said g'day and I'll see you on the next video.